Universal Pass is today. I was gonna go like that for Disney, but it's the first time this week we haven't done that. No magic bands on. No magic bands. So we've got our Universal Annual Pass land, lanyards and our annual passes. So we are heading to Universal. And one of the perks of an annual pass means you can get in one hour before opening to Harry Potter. But the park's opening at eight today. So what time would we have had to get there? We would have had to have got there at seven. Yeah, we're not going to get there at seven. <laughs> <laughs> You're way too tired for that. Yeah, because we did Fantasmic last night. We had a late one. But it's 7.15 and we're probably going to be there about quarter two. Um, so we should just get in and then head for... We're going to head for Fast and Furious. Yeah, we're going to try and get Fast and Furious done as the new ride. And then hopefully two of our favourites, which is Mummy and E.T. are on the list as well, aren't they? We've had, we have to do Mummy and E.T. Those are our two must-do rides Favourites. in Universal. Yeah, and then we're going to hopefully head to the outlets because we want to do a quick look in the character warehouse and Bath and Body Works. Of course. So we're going to go to the outlets on International Drive because the Vineland ones don't have a Bath and Body Works. And then we're going to go to Disney Springs for lunch because we've got a reservation at the Boathouse. Yeah. One of our absolute favourites. And it's turning into our kind of last big meal each holiday. It is, the last couple of times we've uh, done that as our last sort of big meal. Yeah. And then we're also going to hopefully go back to Animal Kingdom later because we've got a fast pass for Flight of Passage. And we need one more ride on that amazing ride. We need one more ride, yeah. So uh, we will take you along. to the walkways as if you're heading to Hard Rock and it's just a left here. Valet parking as a prem premier pass benefit. So a really, really good one, I think. So all you have to do is tip. So a couple of dollars. Yeah, a few dollars when you pick it up. So if you want a particularly good space, you can tip a couple of dollars when you drop it off. Uh, etiquette varies on that. Uh, we just normally tip on the return. So but if obviously if you've got a, a Porsche or a Ferrari, you might want them to park it somewhere really good. <laughs> And it brings us out right by the Cineplex um, cinema. And the uh, golf. And the mini golf. Here we go. Welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. And they'll give you a little receipt, and that's all good. So with the valet parking, the security is right there. So you get to go through with a very little line. It's really good, especially if it's really busy or an event. It's probably worth doing, isn't it? Just skip security. And then you've got a, a view of the golf here. Picture moment for Luke. It's just too nice. It's beautiful. Beautiful. 
So we were just uh, having a chat with the staff about our passes, weren't we? Yeah, from Etsy. So we've got our favourite ride, E.T. in Jurassic Park. She was like, what planet is it? What planet? I was like, <laughs> okay. It's got a 10 minute wait at the moment. And we are pretty much dead on 8 o'clock. Yeah, 7.58, park's fully open. And we're going to try... Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious first. See we're going to see line. what the queue line's like. It's brand new, so we're expecting it to be... Busy. Busy, yeah. We got the Christmas shawl. Oh, the lovely Christmas shawl. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. They also do a great Christmas shop in Islands of Adventure, don't they? They do. Nothing can be a minion from your Christmas tree. No. Next time you'll be in this park, it'll be uh, Halloween Horror Nights. We might have come up for a day before. Okay, so we arrived at 8 o'clock and they're having a delayed opening, is what they're calling it, aren't they? Yeah, I think it's gone tech. So, um, I don't know what time it's going to be open yet, but you can get a virtual line pass now and you can use it through the express line anytime today. So, that's pretty good. So, we've got one ready, as you saw. And it's let us pick between 9 and 10. So, we're, just, we're not here for very long, so we're just hopeful we can get on it. Yes, fingers crossed. But in the meantime, let's go and do mummy. Yeah. No, they're redoing the entrance, I think. Oh, five minute wait. So I think they're moving the uh, entrance. Well, that makes sense. It's such a long entrance. Yeah. So we have five minutes for one of Luke's favourite rides at Universal. Let's do it. Let's do the mummy. Time for the mummy ride. One of my favourites. Like Rich, you love this one? I do love this one actually, yeah. There's a very long queue line. Yeah. <laughs> and it gets very sneaky around that bit. It gets very dull. Got all the props and stuff from the movies. It's very dark. It goes very dark in a minute. I just hope he gets his coffee today. Yes. It's very dark man. It looks like it might be a walk on everyone. Here we are. He didn't get his coffee. We were on our own. We were the only ones on it. It was a little bit freaky. Scary. <laughs> we had our own car to ourselves. Car to ourselves, walk complete walk, and they were like, just pick a line, any line, wherever you want to go. It feels scarier being on your own. Yeah. So I think we're gonna go on Transformers now, shall we? Yeah, why not? Decepticons who are intent on destroying us. 
fish in my garbage is a little squishy. Also, I was thinking about taking a couple of months sick leave, maybe starting today. And uh, oh, oh yeah, I intercepted a transmission from Megatron. Yes, sir. By the way, sir. And so I'll assume that we're going to be on this time. I know we are asking much of you this day, but the Decepticons leave us no choice. Evac believes you can help him protect the Allspot. Yeah, it was Warcom though. It was like Warcom. Literally just walked straight on. So we're gonna go see if Fast and Furious is open now. Yes. Uh, so there we go, Optimus Prime. That's Optimus Prime, isn't it? They're doing a lot of work at Universal on this new show, Out on the Water. It looks good. like Fast and Furious has opened at half past eight, so we had a fast pass, express like a virtual pass, line pass, virtual line pass for nine o'clock, so we're going to see if they're going to honour it. Yeah, I think they should. It's posted 15 minutes, so, so if we have to, we'll wait 15 minutes. Yeah. Where is that in this race? At 9 o'clock for the virtual line. Yeah, it's only about a 15 minute wait. You can't use it till 9. But the standby is 15 minutes, so. Yeah, we're going to go with that. It's not that And it'll give us a good opportunity to look at the uh, full queue line. So, well, we're going to come all the way in, all the way in. I do want to get those doors closed behind you. Um, as you can see, we've got some really high-tech stuff in here. So, I'd like to keep it nice and cool so nothing overheats. Um, as Pat said, my name is Jamie, and welcome to the war room. Uh, I tell you, that guy... Oh, wow, Tesh is calling. Uh, hey, what's up, Tesh? Jamie, the buses are here. Okay, perfect, then. So, I can get these people out the door, then, and on their way... Uh, oh, Dom's calling you. I got this, Jamie. Okay. Dom, what up? Tash, just got a heads up from OBS. The FBI is about to raid your location. Oh, man, they always ruining our fun. It gets worse. They're leading over Shaw right to your door. Again? Shaw? That cockroach we beat down in Spain? Exactly. What's he got to do with Yeah. I think the kids, I think the kids, it's amazing. 
there was a kid in front of us and he was like, yeah, 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 loving it. And if you love cars, I mean, the queue line itself was amazing. Yeah, but the actual ride itself is very short. Very short. One or two of the scenes were a bit meh, but we don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen it. Yeah, definitely experience it, but I wouldn't queue up more than 15, 20 minutes for it. We'll get a virtual line pass. Yeah. It's very bright now, we're going outside. So when you come out, you've got the Fast and Furious cars to look at. Well, if you love cars, this will be the ride for you. I think for like kids, it's great. Yeah. I think really like it. Wise words from Luke. <laughs> so we are going to head round to Men in Black. Men in Black. Yeah. Diagonally. Diagonally. <laughs> it's got a King's Cross there. the Men in Black Showdown. It is. Who won last time? You did. Did I win? I oh, actually, did. I got like, some ridiculous score last time, which is like out of the norm for me. I normally do really bad on Men in Black. Let's give it a go and Let's see how we go. Let's give it a go, go see if we get on. It doesn't look like there's any line. Mm. Yeah, here we go. Hi guys, good morning, good morning. Good morning. The universe and you. Just like a short line. Black. 
Go on then, say it. I won. <laughs> I won. I'm dying to say that. I literally won real good. So I won the last time and you won this time. Yeah, I won by almost 100,000. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Calm down. I got some good aliens. And now we're going to go and try and see another alien, which is our favourite alien. E.T. E.T. E.T.